What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome to today's Q&A video. <laughs> We're not doing a Q&A, but we could be doing one, so make sure to leave some questions down in the comments below, and I know I say this all the time, I will actually answer them in a video, or I might not. I'll try my best, so just leave some questions down below, guys. Let's get straight into this one. What is up, guys? My name is Nick, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about why you always get stuck on the team with the worst players alive and why this happens and what I really think is the reason behind this. Now, before we get into this, guys, I just want to say two things quickly. One of them is I literally just woke up, so my voice is probably all raspy and all that kind of stuff, so I do apologize for that. And the other thing is I do want to do that Q&A. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video here, I do want to do a Q&A, so definitely leave some questions down in the comments below. All right, guys, before we get into this video, I want to see if we could set a like goal. I haven't really set like goals lately, and the one that I did set yesterday was not, or the day before, was not reached whatsoever. And I think that's probably because a lot of you people don't even have the gun that I was talking about, so not many people actually went to go see an overpowered class setup for it but i feel like we're lacking in likes lately and i want to know if the like squad could hit it up smash that like button and see if we could hit 1500 likes now i know that's asking for a lot guys but i'm pretty sure you guys could do it you guys used to do it all the damn time so if we could do that again that would be absolutely amazing i say that a lot i keep telling myself i'm gonna stop saying that and i keep saying it more and more <laughs> all right let's get straight into this video all right guys so have you ever noticed that when you're playing black ops 3 you're just trying to have a good time you're actually a Alone, you're not playing with any friends at this time so you decide to hop into a game of domination safeguard kill confirmed whatever you actually want to play and you just notice that you're always put on the team where nobody could carry themselves you're holding your own backbone you're the backbone of the entire team you have like 25 kills at the end of the game with 20 deaths because no none of your teammates could actually help you and stuff like that and then you look at your team and you see guys going 1 and 19 5 and 12 another guy going like 20 and 26 and you're just like what the heck is going on and then you look at the other team they have wraps they have a wraith they have haters they have everything up everything you could possibly get and they, they're just completely demolishing you and you, you just look at it and you're like what the heck is going on now no matter what your kd is even if you have a 0.70 kd a 0.50 kd this has happened to you before now i'm not going to go and say this is all skill based matchmaking and stuff like that because there's not much of that going on in black ops 3 but what i think this is and hear me out on this what i think this is is because a lot of people play in parties if you haven't noticed the teams that are usually doing really really good up against you are actually in a party of like four or more people and stuff like that or at least three sometimes so they're all communicating they're doing whatever they can they just play well together they do it all the time and that's what you notice your team is just bad and then you're on the team where nobody is playing with a party everybody's playing solo and that's mostly the casual players who play alone and stuff like that so you're just like okay you, you, you get stuck on the team with the worst players and i'm not saying that they're the worst players ever and stuff like that. i'm just saying they're not as great they're not on the same skill level as you and the the whole other team and stuff like that so you're just getting demolished and it's really annoying because sometimes i'll be doing that i'll be playing a game and i'll just stop playing like after two matches and i'll put my controller down i'll close my playstation and walk away and i hate that i never felt like this in call of duty before i don't know what it is I just feel like that's definitely one of the bigger problems, but if you guys could leave your comments down below telling me if this ever happens to you, if it does happen to you occasionally, frequently, or whatever, just let me know. I want to know if I'm alone on this. I really hope I'm not, but I'm always put on the team where, like, people just, they, they can't hold themselves up. It, it's... Uh, it, get, it gets frustrating, but whatever. Nonetheless, guys, I do want to talk about the Vesper quickly here as well, because this gun is, it's its the new god gun. Like, this thing is just insane. If you haven't played with the Vesper for like four months, five months or whatever, that's because they nerfed it a few months ago and they made it completely useless and it, it was just disgusting. But finally, guys, they brought the Vesper back to its former glory. It is the same, well, not the same that it used to be, but it is definitely really, really damn good. And I suggest using the Vesper now. The reason I'm using the VMP in this gameplay is because whenever I do use the Vesper recently, I notice that I'm still getting melted by the VMP up close and stuff like that. So this, in my opinion, is probably the better gun, but I'm so happy that the Vesper is back to what it used to be, or at least close to what it used to be, because this is, it was my go-to gun for the longest time. I loved this thing. It was just absolutely, it, I was going to say absolutely insane, but I got to stop myself from saying that kind of stuff. It's just such a fun gun to use, and I just miss playing with it. Like, it, it just feels great to have 
again. Now, if you played Black Ops 2, you guys definitely know what the Scorpion is, and that's what the Vesper is. It's pretty much the Scorpion Evo from Black Ops 2. It's just, it, it's super hard to control at long range. It sucks at long range. You're not going to do anything with it at long range, but up close, this thing is just a powerhouse, and I really suggest throwing this class together. Like, just put a Vesper. Uh, put a Varix 3 if you have it. And I know the Varix 3 is really, really hard to look through. It sucks. The, the site is awful, but throw that onto your class. And I'm telling you right now, the Vesper will be insane. The recoil will be super, super low, and you'll do really damn good with it. Now, I want to go back to what I was talking about before, because I do want to rant a little bit, even if I'm not sounding like I'm complaining. I'm just venting a little, because it is pretty frustrating to go through that kind of stuff. But I do want to talk about it very, very fast. So, like I was saying, you go into a game, you're put on the team with bad players. Sure, whatever, that's okay. Okay. But what I hate more than that, the one thing I hate more than that in Black Ops 3, and this happens literally every single time I search for a match, and I'm sure it happens to you guys as well, you get put into a game that has already started. Now, I don't talk about this much because like, I, I just like put it aside, I let it bother me, it goes to the side, but when you get put into a game that already starts, you get into the match, the enemy team has like, you're, let's say you're playing team deathmatch, the enemy team has like 80 kills, your team has 29 because you know, you're not, you're never going to be put on the team that's actually winning because why would somebody leave when they're on the team that's winning? It's obviously going to be the people who are on the losing team. So anyways, you get into a match and it's just like, why, why would you do this? Why would you put me into this match? First of all, I get it. The loss stat is prevented, so you're not, it's not going to count as a loss on your, uh, your barracks or anything. Cool. I understand that. Your combat record will not be affected, but you're still going to die a thousand times because all you see is raps coming to you the second you spawn in. There's a wraith up in the air shooting at you, so you can't even have time to run inside. And then when you do get inside, there's a bunch of raps there anyways waiting to blow you up. So it's just, it's so frustrating. And that's one thing I think they need to fix in Black Ops 3. It's, it's just like every single time, especially when I try to get a live gameplay for you guys, like a free-for-all challenge or something like that. I, I sit there, I find a lobby, I get into a free-for-all game, somebody's already at 17 kills. I know that's game over. The game finally ends. I stay in the game because I know that the next match is going to start. Nobody joins the lobby and everybody leaves. So it's like me and two other people just sitting in the lobby. I find a new lobby. It's our, the game already started. Somebody's already at 29 kills. It's like, stop putting us into games that already started and put us into a lobby where the game hasn't started. I think what they need to do is once, once you leave like three matches or something like that, once you rage quit three matches... You, you should have a penalty. There's, there should be something, like, you should be penalized for doing that kind of stuff. And that way, they could at least keep the lobbies flowing, keep people in them, because rage quitting is just, I, I do it too every so often. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I actually do do it too. But it's just something that, like, people abuse it nowadays, and it ruins the fun for everyone else. So I just wanted to get this off my chest. I know this isn't the normal commentary that I do, guys, but uh, I, I literally just woke up. I, I was thinking of video ideas, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make a little rant video because it's, it's just this little stuff that bothers me in Black Ops 3. But no, but to be quite honest with you guys, I wasn't sure what to make today. So this was a good video for the last second idea and stuff like that. I wanted to make an overpowered class, but I feel like I make way too many of those. I would have uploaded a Mythbusters, but my buddies and I have to actually record a whole bunch of myths. And then the editing takes a long time. So that would have never been done today. And because I didn't upload yesterday, I don't want to miss a day again. So I'm like, you know what? I got to do something. And this is it, guys. This is a little rant thing these these type of videos i usually push out when i really have like no other ideas man it sucks it's pretty dry right now cod but it, whatever nonetheless guys thank you for watching this video subscribe to the channel if you're new around here leave your comments down below letting me know if you agree with anything that i mentioned in this video thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one